Hi, so far we have been discussing the iterative formula for calculating page rank, we have been discussing the matrix formulation, and they are working fine, but sometimes there are problems concerning these approaches. For example, when we have to handle dangling nodes. Dangling nodes are nodes with no outgoing edges. So let's suppose the situation that our World Wide Web consists of three web pages, A, B, and C. And A is pointing to website C, B is pointing to website C. Let's calculate the page ranks for the websites. It is a problem because our algorithm discussed so far is not going to work. What's going to be the transition matrix? It's going to be 0, 0, 001 because A is not connected to B, it's not connected to itself, it is just connected to C, 0, 0, 001. B is just connected to C, so 0, 0, 001 again. C is not connected to any website, so that's why 0, 0, 0. The initial page ranks is going to be 1 divided by n. We have three websites, so 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3 are going to be the initial page ranks for all of the websites. If we want to calculate V1, which is the next iteration page rank, we have to multiply the transition matrix with the original vector. We end up with 0, 0, 2 divided by 3. It means that A has a page rank 0, B has a page rank 0, C has a page rank 2 divided by 3. Let's calculate the next iteration. In the next iteration, we end up with 0, 0, 0. All the websites have page rank 0. Something's not working fine because as you may guess, website C has to be important because two websites are pointing to that given website. So the 000 is not going to be fine. Okay, what about another problem? If there are several disconnected components. So the World Wide Web may have several disconnected independent components. The models discussed so far are not able to handle these situations. So if we have dangling nodes, or if there are lots of lots of disconnected components of the World Wide Web, the methods discussed so far are not going to work. And this is what led to the final equation and final formula for the page rank algorithm. And this is what we are going to discuss in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.